Is that a new way to get my attention up on the handrail? <laughs> I'm working on it. Everybody's here and doing good. The weather today is basically going to be a carbon copy of the weather yesterday. I'm appreciating that the grass is mowed and I don't have to do that. And um, like I said, they're all here. Stripes down at my feet doing the leg brush thing and hoping to see what Tux has. Aren't you, buddy? Is everyone doing good over here? You guys been waiting so patiently. Hi. So you got another software update to put on, 24.10. Yeah. Wow, we'll just kick it off when we get home because I don't know exactly what time that's going to be. Yeah. So we're headed to a new walking spot this morning, 2686 Covered Bridge Road. That's part of the Clayton River Walk, which is part of the um, Noose River Trail. And um, part of the reason why I picked here this morning is that it'll take us past the new Tesla Supercharger at... Um, what we affectionately refer to around here as 4042 is basically where our, um, Interstate I-40 intersects um, Highway 42. It's about six miles from where I used to live and about six miles from where Michelle lives. Um, and this, you know, walk is just a little bit past there over in the Clayton area. So I wanted to check out the supercharger today anyway. And uh, this will just let us uh, fit in both things uh, in the same same. Um, outing so anyway we're headed over to Clayton which is uh, just east of Willow Spring which is just east of Fuquay on Highway 42 yeah I did realize it's 24 miles and 43 minutes you know Clayton is not it's not far but it's also not close um, you know it's 20 minutes 10 miles over to Michelle's house so um, and this is a little bit farther the other way so yeah and I've seen pictures of the supercharger at 4042 and it's two um, drop in four four stalls so eight stalls total it's going to look very similar to what went in at Siler City and it's up there by the Smith Fields and the I guess there's or maybe a Ruby Tuesday there or something so it's a good spot right there on I-40 um, heading out of the Raleigh area toward the beach as another stop between um, you know Raleigh North Hills and say Wallace or whatever um, but I have a suspicion this one will be more of a urban usage than it will be a trip usage, even though it's right off I-40, just because, you know, the Tesla cars all go easily over 200 miles, even the older ones. And, um, you know, where Wallace is on the way to the beach is good enough. So, yeah. But there's a lot of people live up in that Cleveland area at 4042. Pretty funny on the weekends. You know, it's uh, 10 o'clock now. My watch let me know that I'm behind on my rings for the day that I should have, you know, already achieved my exercising move goal and I better get busy. <laughs> oh my God, can a girl not even have a Saturday? Yeah, when I moved into Willow Spring in 93, about the only thing up here at Cleveland was the McDonald's and the Shell Station. And you could just barely see the arches up there on the left. And this little strip mall on the right, I guess, that's this little white building just past the Waffle House and, and that's all I remember being up here there was nothing else up here and then for years and years and years they talked about Walmart coming they teased us about Walmart I swear it went on for 10 years they teased us about Walmart and there is finally a Walmart just up here on the right past the Lowe's Home Improvement but um it didn't go in where we thought it was going to go in and it took forever but now it's basically a little mini city up here. It's just crazy how this area has grown up. So, um, wow, that's 25 years now, over 25 years. Yeah, there's a little food lion and a strip mall in here on the left. Important, important. There's a Dairy, Dairy Queen. Queen, yeah. I've been in there before a long time ago though now. But the Subway and the 76 and the Bojangles, see the Shell Station and the McDonald's? Those are like the two original buildings exit off the interstate get your food and your gas and go and that's what 312 was it was basically just if you needed to fill up going south out of raleigh toward the beach that's where you go but now on the other side there's walmart and goodwill and lowe's home improvement and another strip mall with a bunch of stuff in it and it keeps growing and it just keeps growing and then of course they're doing 
construction below the, the overpass here for 40 because they're widening 40 at this spot and it's just um it's that's kind of a nightmare up here kind of a nightmare and you can see the construction well thankfully michelle's husband yeah they're widening 42 through here plus they're widening 40 so it's it's a nice nightmare it'll be going on for years i'm sure the other thing that was here though back in the 90s was the smithfield and over here behind the smithfield is where the super char oh i just saw it it said literally right behind the smith smithfield's owner is very pro tesla and they've been putting in destination chargers and some superchargers uh, all over the state so um patronize smithfield they're really doing good things for ev adoption and i guess tesla owners in particular so turn left here yes well i just i've seen it so i've seen where it was and i would say straight down to where you can turn near the orange um plastic fencing well i would say if you here's the ruby tuesday what were you gonna say donnie uh i would say if you were going to um uh Inbound, uh, you're going that would be east on I 40, west on I 40, excuse me. Uh, that this is not a bad stop, that don't make the wrong turn I just made. Yeah, don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, but what I'm saying is, is that it's easy to, uh, you would make a right turn off the I 40, a right turn at the intersection, and then, um, um, it's easy here right turn off here right turn back onto the it's all right turns uh, whereas if you um, uh, going the other direction you're gonna be there's all left turns and you it's gonna be a little bit more uh, of a challenge yeah and um, hopefully somebody will figure out a good easy way direct path to, to the supercharger <laughs> well now if I was going through Smithfield I just probably just have come right and go but I was trying to do the efficient, not drive across businesses. Well, I don't think it's open, but you should probably back in just in case. Because okay. it sure looks finished to me. Right. I had not heard that it was online, but you know, you know, I just, you don't know. Never can tell. Never can tell. We have to push limits here. Yes. <laughs> live strong. He's got on his live strong outfit yeah. from back in the day and push limits. Yeah, that's right. Right. And that's an ATM machine there for some bank. Yeah. Huh. I pushed the magic button and the flap opened. Really? <laughs> put it in. The blue light's on. It's not doing anything. <laughs> oh. oh, it opened the flap. Oh, it's charging. Oh, cool. It's a little T. There's no blue light here. It's Jules. It's a little green flashing T. Well, no, it was blue and now okay. it's green. You're charging. Well, I had not heard that it was online. I heard somebody this week stop by and said um, that it looked like it was ready to go online. Well, you need to post, post this to the, to the thing. I will. I'll get right on that. So, well, you get your Smithfields, and we've got uh, picnic tables to eat at. We've got a trash can, which needs to be emptied. But I'm betting they'll do that before they open for the day. It's not quite lunchtime yet. Remember, it's just after 10. Yeah. So hopefully they empty it more often than not. Um, I think these restaurants are struggling to have enough staff to even run the restaurant and the trash stuff out in the parking lots, you know, a little off. Yeah, this is eight, but this is not the drop-ins. It doesn't look like the drop-in slab because the two cabinets are down on the end and there's those three, then there's like this gap here to walk to the picnic area maybe. And these little bumper things. They're not, they, yeah, so you're right. This is not a drop-in. They're hard plastic. This, if you bumped into this, it, it doesn't have any give. It's just, it, it could be concrete. It would be just as, just as brutal to your car. So be careful backing up. Don't back yep. up too far. I, Uber. <laughs> I told him to go stick his head Uber. through. The, the sun was making it going to make him light up. That's good, Donnie. That's good. So that hole is for disabled access. See this thing here? It says design for disabled access, use last. And um, the ground is painted. So I'm guessing that's this lane right here. 
That's that one. It's extra wide. It's extra wide. Um, so cool. I have we haven't seen that at too many chargers, but it's you know obviously the right thing to do. And now that they can focus on some other stuff, I would say that all of the parking spaces here are wider than maybe we normally see. I like it wider. Wider is good to me. Why put them when there's room? Why put them on top of each other? You know, don't make the Tesla people when they're getting in and out of their car with trash and kids and stuff at the supercharger have to work so super extra hard to get in and out of their vehicle without dinging people. All well, right. Sweetie, I've got barbecue. What are, you, what are you gonna well, have? Well, a half pint seemed like the right thing to do, but maybe a full pint was really the right thing to do. Yeah, that's okay. But we're, we're you know, I'll I'll contain myself. Okay. The barbecue here is good. Don't be too fussy about. Right. I mean, it's really good. Just try it if you've yeah. never had it. It's well, good. Yeah. It's not. Um, it's not a, a dark, thick sauce. It's, it's a vinegar. Vinegarish. But not, I like all barbecue. I'm not barbecue fussy. Don right. noticed there's no numbers. Um, since this is version three, it doesn't matter if you share and you sort of don't need to count. Well, you don't need to. But if you're having a problem with one, you still need to know which one you're having a problem with. I suspect they're going to come back and put the stickers on. Hey, it's Don and Marianne here at the new Tesla Supercharger in Garter, North Carolina. Yep, it's a version 3 8 stall. Uh, it's not the drop-in. This one looks like it's custom built. Yep, we have a uh, for disabled access use last only um, a pedestal over here where the ground is painted for wheelchair access. I suspect that's why it's not the pre prefab. We've got picnic tables to eat at. There's some here, and there's also some behind me over there. Trash can, uh, a dog cleanup station, so it's totally okay to allow your dog to come back over here uh, while you're while you're at the supercharger. Yeah, lots of security. They got cameras from Smithfields. The ATM's got one, and if you stop and the Smithfield restaurant is closed, just on the other side of the Smithfield is a speedway uh, that's open 24/7. Yep, so there's a gas station here where you could uh, buy snacks or use the restroom at any time of the yep. day. It's, this is super easy on off if you're westbound on I-40. If you're eastbound, you have to make left turns to get here. But it's not bad. I mean, it's, I mean that's I-40 right there. Other yep. than the construction is the only drawback, but that'll be done in a couple years. Yeah, lots of lighting here in the parking lot. So besides the cameras, I think at night it's going to be oh, lit yeah. up well and um make sure if you stop in to check out the barbecue yeah first off the fried chicken and barbecue is awesome and yeah. secondly smithfield is putting in destination chargers yeah. and superchargers all, all over the state. state and we want to support that business because they're really helping out as ev drivers yeah. so what do you think donnie well normally i would you know probably like a seven out of ten but but because it's at smithfield's eight out of ten baby i agree and we may have had some barbecue yeah. while we were sitting here <laughs> We got up to 250 miles. Don just stopped. We recorded a little video for now, you know, and uh, we'll go on for our walk now. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to walk now. I can't. I've had something to eat. It's time for me to go home and pile up. But I don't let you had a little snack. It certainly didn't make you so full. You should need a nap yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll let you have a nap this afternoon and and oh, yeah. I'll let you put on the Alabama football That's game right. while you're napping. I'll just be doing Legos so yeah. I won't care. Yeah, I usually put on the first nap through the first half and wake up for the second. So they must have put in these destination chargers before they put in the, um, obviously the supercharger, but there's a couple of short term chargers over here too. You can't see, but they are the official Tesla destination chargers. Well, yeah. I don't really remember being on Clayton Main Street. Not any time recent. All right, I don't think I've been here. Um, we just went past their farmer's market, which I have to say looked a lot busier and a lot more uh, vendors than Fuquay's farmer's market. Fuquay's, today's the last day. Isn't it a little early to be closing it for, don't people want to sell pumpkins and gourds and hay and scarecrows for fall? Actually, we've been here. That's a wedding venue, and I remember us parking near here, but I guess maybe we've only been over here when we went to look at Christmas lights and not during the day is why it's not seeming so familiar. Um, it's a pretty home there. It's busy. It's thriving down here. That's good. It's all good. Yeah, this is the historic district, which makes sense because we're downtown. Like in Fuquay's got 
the more modern part of town and then the older part of town. There used to be a Piggly Wiggly. Here on the left was a butcher. I used to buy fresh meat there. Got cell phone coverage? Yes, and we also have plenty of charge. Let's let's be bold and let it install while we walk. What's it say? Unable to start the software because sentry mode was set to on. Sentry mode must be set to off. Retry after stopping sentry mode. And that's just because we're not at home and sentry mode's automatically off at home. So hang on. I mean, we're just going to come into safety and security and turn it off. Turn sentry mode off. And then we can come back up here and just say install now. And starting in two minutes. 2021.24.10. And I've already apologized to Don that we're in a gravel parking lot. Yeah, we're fine. Sweetie. I'm so sorry. Just from a dust perspective. Yeah, Town of Clayton, Riverwalk on the Noose 2686. We're sort of on the way out of town for Clayton and headed toward Archer's Lodge. Um, this was uh, some grant money used to add this uh, parking area here. And other than the fact that it's not paved, it's great. <laughs> And here's the entrance to the Greenway Trail. I'd already spotted the pedestrian bridge as we went over top of the uh, river, which is uh, just a little ways in front of me here. Town of Clayton Greenway. Open dawn to dusk. I'm sure it's similar. Well, it's quite popular here today. It's, uh, of course, it's a Saturday morning, but... And we're close to the parking area. You know, Don and I have definitely found out as we, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty uh, cool, lower humidity Saturday morning. And plus we're close to the parking area. As Don and I have found out, the farther you walk away from the parking area, the less crowded it gets. Lots of people stop for a few minutes and do a short walk. Not as many go farther, so. We're going to walk to the left, which is south, but there's the, this is 42 still? No, no, that's um, What road is that? Something, uh, Neal Road, Neal okay. Bridge Road or something like that. Right, we're, we're near Covered Bridge Road, and here's the Covered Bridge. I wonder if we um, go down the turn off for that, if the bridge is still there. Huh. Uh, concrete Bridge. Oh, okay, then it was replaced again. So I guess this was supposed to be the covered bridge, but it's obviously not anymore. Well. All right, I'm walking this way. Well, my first impression is, is that this may be sunnier than I would have preferred, but we'll see. All the trails we go on have some sun. Wow, that's a big tree. Sad to see it have come down. Well, the, um, the one thing is, you know, it is sunny. It reaches not 85. Right. It's only 75 in the sunny. Right. As Don says, it's only 75 right now. We may be headed to the low 80s, but we're not there yet. And the, the water is just over there. So that's nice. Yeah. Looks like we're going downstream. Yeah, the uh, pedestrian bridge that goes over the river is supposed to be 1.2 miles south of the parking area. And obviously I want to go on the pedestrian bridge. <laughs> We're doing a pedestrian bridge tour of North Carolina, right Donnie? Oh, yes. One pedestrian bridge at a time? Yes, that's just what it is. <laughs> well, I like walks that involve water, which is another reason why I chose this walk because there's just more interesting foliage wildlife view reflective views photography opportunities you know oh donnie i want to be out on the water i want to be out on the water tubin 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 it looks a lot Jody and andy today so that's like jody andy where's the raft <laughs> where's the tubes the floats we want to float <laughs> yeah Wow, it looks a lot like the Cape Fear down at Raven Rock as far as width, color of the water, you know, all that good stuff. Well, I'm liking the people on this trail. They're all super friendly. Everybody seems in a good mood. I'm liking it. It's not so 
Yeah, it's not hot. Well, everyone in Fuquay is always really friendly too. Um, where did we go last week that that not as many people spoke? Was, uh, we went up Good morning. Good morning. Raleigh, this downtown, yeah, yeah, the around the river Johnson Park. Yeah, Johnson yeah, Lake Johnson. That's where. And people are just, we'll just say not as talkative there. Not as willing to make eye contact with you. Of course, I don't normally give people a choice. <laughs> so, just checking out the signage here. It's about what I would have expected. When I would walk in the creek behind the house over in Willow Spring, there was lots of mussel shells. You don't see the salamanders too much. Um... Anyway, I was telling Don another purpose of today's walk was to scope out if this was worth a walk a day in October. One of our weekend walks in October or November when the leaves are coming down. And I would say absolutely this is probably well worth it. Because, you know, only so, many day, only so many weekend days with Don working that we can go for a longer walk of a little farther away and enjoy the leaf color. Raven Rock is clearly on my list. Probably Lake Johnson after last weekend where we found how you can go down to the rock formation. And I would say here. I think it was summer of 18. Don was on his unicycle. Johnny and I were out there. I had my longboard. Johnny had a bike. That's yeah. part of the same trail. Yep, I agree. That's how the pedestrian bridge is pretty. This bridge is from June of 2011, so it's 10 years old. Oh, wow. You really do. You get to go over the water. I want to go back to the um, Riverbanks Blue uh, Zoo in Columbia, South Carolina. I got a guy I went to high school with that he runs a go out in the water business. You see a turtle over there on that log. And, uh, the um, the gardens and the zoo are connected by a bridge very similar to this and you get to go out over top of the water. The bridge moves a bit. I feel like I'm rocking. Can you see that on the video? <laughs> Let's see the other side. But oh, there's nobody out on the water. Oh wow, this bridge really moves. <laughs> got a spring in its step. Yeah, it's, a, it's three pieces. Join here. Yep. And then spot that same distance down there. So there's three, three sections of the steel bridge. That's what your walk is like when you're walking with an engineer. And I love every minute of it. I just gave him a big hug and a kiss and told him how appreciative I was of him being out here walking on his day off. I really get excited about opportunities like this. It's the little things in life that make all of the harder things worthwhile, you know? And that that bridge is only like 0.4 miles from the parking lot. So yeah. it's less than a one mile to walk to the bridge and oh, back yeah. and see the pretty view. And there's a place to sit down if you need oh, to yeah. rest. And it's, yeah. I would say it's wheelchair, bicycle, yeah. roller skate accessible. So come out and enjoy it. It's just a little ride out of Raleigh, Pequay. It's really not that far from most points in the triangle. A moment of shade. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're walking this way at least a mile and a half. There was some, I just don't understand what I read as far as maybe the covered bridge was, or the pedestrian bridge was the measurement I had of 1.2 miles was coming from a park that's in this direction or something. I must have read it wrong. Anyway, I got to go over the bridge. That's the important part. And you know, on these trails that don't loop, we usually walk out about a mile and a half on the weekend and then walk back to get our three miles in. This is another trail. Well, it's a darn good thing it's plenty wide because there's enough people out here it's really needed for safe passage. Don and I are always, we're always happy to share the trail with people on whatever method they want to use to go down it. And they're always real respectful. They, hop, they jingle their bike bell or holler, I'm passing you on the left. Or It, it works pretty good. 
Is that to say that nobody ever has a crash? Probably not. But I think appropriate safeguards are taken and everybody ought to have access to the trail. I told Don I'm ready to hop on a bike. Let's go down to the coast. A little bit of camping. Let's, let's rough it for a couple of days. We'll get Michelle as our emergency bailout contact in case of bad weather or illness. And let's just go. Well, that's mile marker 31.5. Like I said, you can get on this trail and go really far. It's 31.5 on both sides. Wildflower and natural habitat in progress. And here is a, um, I think this is a cabbage butterfly. That, oh wow, that's a monarch. Oh, I don't have my camera, not my good camera. I don't think that's a king. I think that's really a monarch. Let Don walk on the trail. And I'll walk up here. Actually, the zinnias are looking like they could use a little water. But I totally appreciate them doing this and putting the bench in. And I'm interested up here if it really is more in the shade. Yeah, we would not have wanted to have been out here on a day when it was uh, low 90s. This would not have worked on a low 90s day. Oh, I think I may see another monarch. Could be a king. No, this one's a swallowtail. Like I said, though, I don't really have the right camera. So there's the lift station. We've been seeing all of the sewer covers, manhole covers in that direction. And apparently we're really close to some highway. Don't know what highway that would be, but... And there's a walk across along the water over here. Now there is a little shade in that direction. Another bridge. And Don has picked uneven surface for us, which I'm, I'm good with. Ah, shade, it's cooler. <laughs> I can tell I've been walking now. Oh, wow. That as far as it easily goes? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't go. Well, I mean, yeah. it might have went back that way, but at some point. It yeah. Wait for I mean, seriously, it almost sounds like it's a racetrack over there. It's so loud. I have no idea what that is. I see a big piece of construction equipment. So they're building something up there. Huh? Yeah, there's, there's construction equipment, earth moving equipment. Yeah, earth moving equipment and what they're doing is they've pop they've piled up trees and stuff and they're putting it through the shredder. And then they're building these huge piles of mulch. So the yellow piece of equipment is moving the wood to the shredding machine and then the blue equipment I can see it pumping out. It's probably hard to see in the video. Yeah, well they've cleared all that land and for something. Putting a subdivision up there. Yeah. And that's all the debris. Right, they can't do else yep. And it's either bury it or shred it. It's a butterfly resting area. Benches, bikes, artwork. Wonder if it's got a Poke -go, Pokemon Go stop. Butterfly garden. But there's no there's nothing growing here but people. Huh? Yeah, it's a lot of glare, but um, I think there's red-headed woodpeckers out here. I guess that doesn't surprise me. I've never seen a long-tailed weasel or a short-tailed shrew. I wonder if they're uh, more nighttime animals. I'm sure Don's going to be telling me we need to turn around any minute now. I think we're at a mile and a half. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. It's a little more shade right here. There's a little breeze. It's a great day to be out on the trail. I mean, it's always hard to make the decision to turn around for me because it's like, well, what's up beyond just that one more curve if we walk a little further? You know, what's up there that's interesting? Some of the aster flower. 
I've seen it along the trail several times today. Very pretty. All right, we're at 1.92 miles, 4,291 steps for me, 45 minutes, so I'm ready to turn around. Our pace must be pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't tell me that until I stop. Okay, all right, if we must. Yeah, no, we have to. We do? Yeah, absolutely, because I got 6,000 steps on my Fitbit, and remember, as soon as it hits 10,000, I stop. <laughs> You know he's pulling my tra my chain a little bit, right? Well, at least a little. Well, I, I promised so I promised time. you I promised you a nap in the Alabama game. Yeah, well. Although that usually means for him he has to put on his headphones because I'm over there clanking with my Legos. All right, I don't mind. <laughs> it works out pretty good with the noise canceling headphones. He can sleep through almost anything when he really gets his mind set on a nap. Right. All right, we're walking back towards the lift station. Don pointed out there's a retention pond over here. Johnny and I were talking about how did that flooding happen in New York City. Well, besides the fact that it was an uh, unusual amount of rainfall in a short amount of time, it also has to do with, you know, here in North Carolina, every shopping center's got a retention pond, and there's a place where they anticipate heavy rain water funneling to, and you know, there's green area mixed in with asphalt and concrete. Well, in the bigger cities, the older cities, you know, new growth, sure, they do it right, but some of the older growth are stuck with the way it was done, and it's not always a place for that water to go that's a good spot. All right, so I see similar equipment here to what we have at the lift station near our house, but explain to me why both of these places seem to need these things on an arm with a hook. What is that? I mean, that one says it's three ton. It's like a little miniature crane. Why do they need that at a lift station? Because there's like a big pump or something down in the bottom. They gotta lift it out and repair it. Oh, or to do maintenance on it or stuff? Okay. The, 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 the head that churns stuff up, that kind of stuff. All right, well, that's interesting to know because I always wondered the one in Fuqua. I'm like, why do they have a crane at the lift station? Yeah. It, it puzzled me. Yeah. You engineer types. Yeah, well, I, I'm not a sanitary engineer, but I'm thinking that there's some kind of a pump and or uh, debris mechanism that has to periodically be, potentially has to be pulled out and serviced. Don often tells me if he were going to do things all over again, he probably wanted to be a civil engineer. That's right. He wanted bridges and things with his yeah. name on it that yeah. were going to last a long time. Oh, I just wanted to be able to go across um, a bridge to say, hey, I helped with this. Bridge. Right. Good morning. I'm at 2.7 miles. Don's closer to three. And uh, we're coming up on the pedestrian bridge over the river. Uphill. Yeah, but we haven't had much elevation today at all to speak of. But yeah, it makes sense that as we head back toward the parking lot, there's a little bit of elevation plus we have to come up from river level to go over the river right yeah it's just afternoon we've stopped tried to stop saying good morning to people and said a hello or good afternoon <laughs> we're not used to being out on the trail after 12. oh so pretty so pretty so handsome. Aw, thank you. Yeah, well this outfit you've got on today is bringing back some memories. Yeah? Yeah. I think, yeah. Don, I think Don got that shirt when I was going through my cancer treatment and that's been 10 years ago now, yeah, so. It's easily that old. Mile 31 on the East Coast Greenway linking cities Maine to Florida. Good morning. Really not fair. Don's 400 steps away from 10k and I'm just at like 8,000 steps and his strides, you know, his steps are bigger than mine so I should have to take more steps to go the same distance yet every day I'm like 1,500 steps behind him. It's, it's not right. It's not right. I, I, I know it's consistency from day to day on your individual device more than how accurate your own personal device is but still irritating. 
very irritating. I'll buy it some ice cream. He said I should slip my device a few extra bucks if you didn't hear him. We have definitely decided that we're having ice cream over the Labor Day weekend, either tomorrow night or Monday night, depends on, not, not sure exactly when Johnny's coming back. So we'll wait for him. Although I tell you, if Johnny was home today, we go four miles here, we'd be having us a pina colada. Yeah. I make them virgin and then everybody adds as little or nothing to theirs. Um, but I don't do that unless Johnny's around because the blender, you know, we really need a third person. <laughs> third person and Johnny would. Johnny may not forgive me if I make pina colada without him. Don says we can go just the other side of the bridge to see what's there. <laughs> that's good. Because that's where I was headed. The zinnias need water. They really look like they need water. Poor thirsty flowers. I told Don the white bridge. He on it mm, a little bit. <laughs> it's not that far. <laughs> I really haven't seen any critters. Squirrel. A couple birds. Heard a heart a red shouldered hawk. And that was it. Well, unfortunately, there's no real view at this bridge. Just a little low spot, a little tributary running into the noose. <laughs> Good afternoon. Yep. All right. That makes you feel good. You made it. Well, I admit it that I'm tired and ready for air conditioning now, but I hate turning around because you just never know what interesting thing you're missing just on the other side of the curve or the hill or the dip. More of the same. Well, but you don't know that. It's kind of like going to thrift stores and pawn shops. You just, you know, never know what you're going to miss if you don't keep on looking. Me Michelle understands. Michelle has it too. Seriously, why don't they put a little solar powered pump and a water pipe down to the river for a couple of these wildflower areas and water them? Have it come on once a day with the timer, once a day for 60 minutes or something and water them. I mean, got a whole big river there on the, just, you know, 30 feet that way. My watch said 3.9 miles and I'm at, um, I'm at, uh, 9,300 steps. Yeah, well mine is, uh, more than that, I think. I'm at 87.63 steps, 3.92 miles, and one hour, 25 minutes, 28 seconds. Average pace is 21.50 per mile. So slow. Yeah, well, we... We, we did sit down and take pit pictures yeah, at a spot and... Well, yeah, we sauntered. Okay. We had stood over the river. We had fun. That's right. And the software update, I guess, put on? Uh, I would say no. Yeah, it still says it. It still says it. I wonder what happened. I'll have to go look. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I misspoke. I'm at 3.58 miles. I knew there was no way my walk equaled Don's walk. I never have as much as him. And Don was quoting 10K steps on his Fitbit watch, where has his walking map had 80 to yeah. 8,000 something yeah. steps. Yeah. We stopped in here at a local um, ranch for beef cattle, FSC ranch over here in Clayton. And we bought a ribeye steak package. Really nice guy in there. They're here all day, 9 to 5 on Saturdays, and they have a la carte, and they have packages, and you can probably buy a quarter or half a steer if you uh, make, you know, preparations in advance. And uh, 
I have a feeling we'll be back. We used to buy from a guy in Willow Spring and he sort of went out of business, so. I'm looking, I'm gonna be defrosting me a ribeye steak for dinner. Don was having him some fun on these curves, but that went down to 45 and then 35, and now you're coming into town at 25. I'm so sorry. Yeah, bummerooski. <laughs> We've got our pretty Carolina blue sky, white puffy clouds now. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's beautiful out there. Jewel says it's 81. And now we get to have a ribeye steak for dinner. Yes. Yeah, my girl, she'd be happy. <laughs> Salivating back there. He had, he was cooking something in the crock pot over there on the side. It smelled darned good. Good thing we'd had that little barbecue snack. Okay, we're driving back through the historic part of Clayton, and they've got up their American flags for Labor Day. the Labor Day holiday weekend, just like Fuquay does. And yep, Church Street. Every town's got to have one. Main Street Library. Like I said, this is a pretty happening over here. I don't think they can be too upset about the amount of traffic in the historic part of downtown. Clayton Steakhouse. Speaking of steak. <laughs> Sure. Well, I'm enjoying it. Where are all of these people? It's packed. Yeah, that is interesting. I didn't see that many restaurants or bars. There were a few, but it didn't seem to be more cars than one would have one would have suspected. Yeah. Consignments of Clayton. <laughs> you and Michelle can come back to that. Aww. I can't say I care for the color, but that is a nice house. I like, you know, the porch is very appealing, the multiple chimneys, the yeah. A little extra woodwork decoration. It's an attorney's office now. Got a sun parlor. It's nice. Yeah, we really don't know why the software update didn't install. I didn't see no um, errors. Let's go. All right, starting. That's what I should have done before. Do not drive until complete. Well, it's not like you were going to let me anyway. Yeah. Fred Smith, who's he? That's the owner of the, the family, the farmer, the guy threw the book in. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the guy that owned the ranch. So, Nom Nom came for the cats. They brought it up to the house, but they left the box in the sun. Upside and then, down. yeah, upside down in the sun. Yeah, but they did walk it up to the house, so it didn't get stolen at least. Here's your ribeyes. Okay, so let's leave two ribeyes out. Maybe I'm ready for some meat. <laughs> Chuck steak, mm, that looks good. Chuck steak. There was like two of several different, cut, you know, Shoulder steak, 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 and more steak. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Right. Steak and Vidalia steak. onions. I could live off of it. Yeah. That'd be fine. Yeah. Occasional egg, some egg thrown in there. Shoulder steak. Sirloin steak. Oh, wow. That's got to be another sirloin steak. Yum. Yeah. 
Yeah. Back in the day, my mama, that's what she cooked a lot with sirloin. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. yeah, some lucky cats. Yeah, really. I should eat so good. Yum. <laughs> well, you could eat this. At Apocalypse, you just go right for it. It's got liver in it and chicken. I wouldn't be feeding this with no cats, let me tell you. So I worked on my building for a little bit, and I have put the white edging on top. I still have not put this balcony door on or the far wall um, back here for the bathroom. I also am working on the floor, the attic floor, the third floor floor. Um, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> it really is. Um, yeah, it's going to look like that. It's going to have scalloping underneath and then it's going to have slopes on the outer edge. And it, like I said, it's complicated. So I did make really good progress, but I've got to flip it over and put some of the scallop part underneath it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. See over here, maybe that's called a soffit. I'm not sure. I'm not a builder. Well, I mean, I am a builder, but I'm not a builder. But anyway, I've got to add that and it's holding these two not otherwise connected pieces together and it's going to be tricky tomorrow. Looking good. We didn't do too much damage in the gravel parking lot, did we? No, no, no. The, um, everything's fine. I, I uh, blew it off with the with the Ego electric blower, and I hit it with the dust buster, and then I put the O and R on the bugs and let it soak in, and they just wipe right off. Um, I'm gonna finish up this motorcycle cleaner on the wheels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tire black the. I'm going to do the black stuff. Looking good. Yeah, Don said she didn't very get really dirty. Just bugs from road, from driving down the road. And, uh, you know, he had planned to come out and do the wheels. He didn't have time before we had left. And he had planned to do the wheels when we got home anyway. Yeah. So, well, I'm kicking you up that steak and some onions and some mm, broccolini. Yeah, and lots of butter. Yeah, that's right. We won't talk about the, the little appetizer we had a little earlier. Right. Smoked salmon, cheese, pepperoni, and <clears throat> a beer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Striper. How are you, buddy? Hi. You sure are a handsome boy. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi. Hello, Tux bud. Tux is like, there will be a tax to get back in the house. Just saying, Mom. He's being a good boy, too.